Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Pivot Boss pre market video for Tuesday, February 8th, 2022. I am Frank Ochoa, aka Pivot Boss. Here's a look at the daily time frame of the ES. Uh, the previous session finished inside day, very narrow session. Basically, the session uh, saw price chop above and below the previous week's close price throughout the day and closed right at it by the end of the day. Uh, and we saw much of the same here overnight trading and pre-market trading heading into today's session very much very similar price action here only much of the chop has been right at or below the previous week's close this right now is indicative here you can see lower highs lower lows inside days here and it's on the cusp of another flush up ahead so this next move could be significant if we flush lower as we're you know currently not quite flushing but you're seeing a rejection of the previous week uh, previous month's mid uh, midpoint this whole entire area here but also the previous uh, month's close there that is the high of the day and if we start to push down through these recent lows here a stop run day could be in effect we could see quite a push downward uh, does that lead to a rejection and a higher low that could take us higher or does this lead us to the key range low where we get ourselves a really great trap opportunity below that key range low that remains to be seen but right now showing a bit of weakness here as uh, lower highs have been pervasive here you also see a very clear support zone in the 4450 zone that little breakout the next breakout that comes could trigger a very big move here even if it's just on a one day basis we'll see which way here uh, we go up ahead below 4450 opens up uh, 4400 down below all right let's take a look here at the NQ you'll notice the NQ very similar price action to the ES the previous session closing inside day uh, another narrow range day here heading into the RTH open just 28 percent of average range and also lower highs that we've seen over the last week lower lows and we're now coming into support right on the FOMC key level at 11478s so right now again uh, not looking the most bullish we could see one good drop here that comes ahead if so this could be a stop run day that that opens it up to the downside do we get a higher low do we need to test the key range low as we talked about before, the key range low down here, trapping below that area, could provide one of the best buying opportunities of the year. That would be between 13,000 and 13,500, somewhere, somewhere in that zone. And uh, a reversal back toward 15 to 15,2 could be a very quick move, as we've already seen that, and we may trade back in that zone. So that could be a very favorable opportunity down there to trap below that level. But do we get that low? So right now, compressing very narrow range with the potential to see some expansion from this uh, quiet weekly range here we've been building out let's take a look here at the crude oil chart right now it's down crude oil down 1.65 percent we haven't seen it down much over the past uh, couple of few months ever since the higher low the strong low in December this thing has been uh, very bullish rotating higher uh, continues to be very bullish off the uh, Pima trigger zone. You also see these buy signals coming in time after time. Those are modified Pima buy signals. Very good movement here. The recent breakout from this four day range got our six point target that we talked about. And now we're seeing a two day pullback. This two day pullback could be similar to this one here. Uh, it could lead to maybe a three day pullback where you get a failed low and go, something like that. So this next pullback, again, uh, could provide a great opportunity for a big push higher and a continuation toward that 96 target. So we haven't seen many pullbacks in crude oil lately. This one right here could provide the next buying opportunity. At the moment, we're seeing uh, price come below the 8-period average and already bouncing out of it. You can see sometimes you'll spend a, a day or two there. Sometimes it's only one day, one day here. Uh, but these here were a few so this may be day one tomorrow we may look at a pullback and a failed new low followed by what could be a continuation higher so overall this market continues to be one to be bought here for a shot at further strength 
toward 96s. All right, let's take a look here at Bitcoin. Now, Bitcoin had a strong couple of days here, very strong couple of days. Crypto in general, very strong Friday to Monday, including the weekend. And now we're seeing a little bit of a pullback here today, a little bit of a fade after trend day, uh, a pretty decent top here. You can see price has got above 45 K for the first time in a while and now you're seeing a pretty hard uh, reversal off that zone develop the 60 minute chart 15 minute chart any intraday chart uh, and up to the higher time frame you can clearly see it uh, a couple of things here number one we're still clearly in a downtrend overall but we have recently broke that trend by pushing through the midpoint of the previous month's range that's step number one to kind of a, a longer term turnaround here on a month to month basis. Uh, but you got to close above that level by the end of the month. But the other thing here that suggests that we could be turned around is finally in this downtrend, we hit uh, or got very close. Let's see, that is the 55 period PIMA right there. Anytime you hit that in a trending market, that is indicative that that trend is likely weakening and it could be indicative of, of a turnaround to come up ahead. Uh, we have seen this type of price action be before where you get a good low, you pull back right there, that's it, before it dumps again. You know, you get a good low, you pull back, and then right there, it kind of comes into play right before you see the next move. So we know there may be some strong shakeout leg that comes up ahead. And that next shakeout leg could provide uh, a great defense opportunity for bulls to push this thing forward. So, for example, if this high right now at 45 leads to a sharp pullback and we drop below 40 and then a rejection occurs there, that could provide a great seal off of that 3940 zone for a continuation higher toward 52, 55, or perhaps higher. So uh, the next pullback is going to be very, very important here right now showing initial signs of strength we'll see where we finish the day but again we could pull back as deep as that 40,000 level 39,000 and that could provide a great buying opportunity up ahead whether that's today whether that's a, a couple of days out we'll see but that higher low right there could be tremendous if it plays out looking at ether futures here this one down about 1.89 percent right now uh, this one also reached new highs today got beyond the 3200 level uh, very similar to what we just mentioned with Bitcoin here this thing has been trending downward but right here it's flirting with breaking that trend by pushing through the previous month's midpoint obviously you have to hold that by the end of the month and there's plenty of months still left to go but again like Bitcoin if we were to pull back here and find a higher low perhaps off the 27 2800 zone that could push this thing higher and by the end of the month we've closed above that midpoint so the next pullback again will be important 27 to 2800 could be a great opportunity if there's a failure there that's where we get new lows up ahead and again this will provide another tremendous opportunity to build into that position and return it back to value so already a good bounce back to value We'll see if we get a higher low out of the next shakeout move ahead. All right, that is it for now. We'll see how this plays out heading into the rest of the session. Good luck, trade well, and I'll see you in the trading room. Take care.